This is a certified hood classic. The 2000s was a remarkable period, y'all. The movies, the games, the music, pop culture as a whole helped define the 2000s as one of the best decades of all time. And one superhero show helped greatly in making the 2000s so damn sensational, the spectacular Spider-Man. This has got to be one of the best Spider-Man adaptations out there, which is why in today's video, my G, we'll be going over the time Spider-Man cooked both Tombstone and Dr. Octopus. So without further ado, let's get right on with a commentary. Silver Sable was busy trying to call her daddy, though she couldn't get a hold of him as the call frequencies in the area were being jammed by an unknown source. And look at this dude, Tombstone Man. Why is he posted up in a chair like an elite crime boss? I mean, he is one, but what a fire posed by this hammerhead shark individual. Silver Sable pulls out her Halo Magnum and asks her former boy toy, Hammerhead, how he blocked their calm. And Hammerhead looked at her like, damn, wouldn't you like to know the cheat code? And began walking away, causing Sable to look in disbelief at the fact Hammerhead was casually walking away from her. Hammerhead has that no energy, and that's why Homie was one of the best villains in this show. Silver Sable got ready to talk about her father, and Hammerhead, realizing he had his former girl in the palm of his hands, informed Sable her dad was out of the picture and to settle down before exiting the room entirely. The next sequence is so damn funny though, like Sable was out here shaking like that one shivering dog meme. Elsewhere, Dr. Octopus, one of the greatest villains of all time, was getting ready to pack up Silvermane, aka Silver Sable's father, and y'all are probably wondering, why are these two supervillains throwing hands at each other? Well, simply my G's, Doc and Silvermane were hosting a summit alongside a menace known as Tombstone and let's just say some arguments ensued which resulted in each of the convicts turning on each other. We as viewers saw this coming because it's quite rare for a bunch of strong minded villains to cooperate without trying to delete each other. Doc Ock set his tentacles to chainsaw levels of speed as the menace started shredding to remain the armor up like it was Timberwood while uttering how the law of the jungle always prevails. Fortunately, the GOAT superhero Spider-Man arrived just on time and threw a web ball at Doc Ock with the same position as Scourge from that one Sonic Shorts episode as he told his rival there's not a lot of octopi in the jungle where leopards reign. Doc Ock was like damn this 99 overall is back for more huh? Okay and moved over to Silvermane to tell him not to speed dash anywhere as he plans on deleting him just like Spider-Man. Truly a sick individual. Doc Ock uses his Hall of Fame technical strength dash to lift a piece of the cement off the ground to toss it at the ghost hero. Spidey who was in his awareness era caught the projectile with his web and slung it back at Doc Ock shocking the mad scientist. Oh yeah boy, Spidey ain't playing around this time. Bro has his 96 Tupac aggression and his LeBron game level badges equipped together. So you already know he means business in this throwdown. The floor starts to crack all over like a Dragon Ball Z arena whenever a character charges up in a legendary show, causing Doc Ock to fall inside. However, Doc Ock was not about to take that embarrassing L from Spider-Man and launch his tentacles out with the same perfection as Tentalus from Skyward Sword to grab both Spidey and Tombstone. Doc Ock emerges out of the rubble with a big smile and I was thinking to myself, why are you smiling as hard as Terry Crews, my guy? But when the camera shifted to Tombstone's hand, I was like, ah, okay, understandable, because I know bro has been waiting to see his op humiliated like that. Nearby, Spider-Man saw the doctor was enjoying himself and had to remind the menace he still had his Tupac 96 aggression badge equipped. He delivered a textbook dropkick to send him crashing into some sewer pipes. Damn, I just know Doc is already smelling like raccoon doo-doo as it connected with the pipes. Like, look at how angry Doc got from the dropkick. We'd all be pissed, let's not lie. We're trying to humble your ops while looking stylish and out comes this web crawling menace to ruin the plan by kicking you into some nasty ass pipes. Foul work right there. Doc sends his tentacles at Spidey and here comes one of the coolest moments in this fight easily in my opinion as he started moving through the tentacles like he was on a monkey bar to deliver a milk to the doctor's face knocking the villain out as cold as ice. Do you see what happens my G's when you add aggression and precision together? You get the glorious results clapping your off just like that. Spidey takes the disc that controls Octavius's tentacles out and gets huh? ready to leave the sewer. Unfortunately, Peter forgot all about the other 98 overall opponent down there and had to be reminded when Tombstone grabbed the man's calf leg. Just look at the homie's reaction. He's like, damn, I forgot all about this menace below me in the rubble. Tombstone emerges from the rubble and begins tossing oh shit around like cash in the store down with Chromastone from Alien Force. One thing about Tombstone in this show was the fact the man had Mike Tyson hand combos. The first time Peter 
squared up against Stone in this show, he got cooked exactly like Speed did after getting involved with one of the goats of wrestling, aka Randy Orton. Not to mention, this beast is voiced by Keith David, an elite voice actor who's on Mount Rushmore, in my opinion, for the greatest voice actors out there. Josh Keaton, too, as well. Tombstone told Peter there were no witnesses down here to record his ass beating and upload on Twitter to watch as the villain slammed Peter into another pipe with the same force as the Chip and Z squad when they were cooking that poor raccoon. Peter grabbed on the pipe with all his might to escape. In this shot, man, you just know the 1v1 is gonna be glorious. Tombstone walks up with the Tobias walking animations to remind Peter of how badly he whooped him in their last encounter. Peter answered him by saying painfully, but you know I don't look the other way. You know this dude Peter has been waiting for this run back. Tombstone had him out here looking like Optimus in their first matchup, so you could tell this was personal shit going on right here. Tombstone tries to punch Peter but gets kicked away due to the hero's elite reflexes. Tombstone grabs the pipe and channels his inner sabo to smack Peter away to the walls of the sewer. Peter, fight back man, don't let this man too zip your ass like Soul Illuminati did fight back in 2018. Tombstone tosses the pipe at Peter's head, resulting in the hero dodging, springboarding off of it to deliver an air attack. Tombstone seeing this activated his top card and punched Peter in the stomach causing him to be launched back. This fight was going hard right, but man, the opera music in the background was a cherry on the top too. Peter made sure to call up his homie Bugs Bunny to play the beat down like Metro while he squares up with his opponents. Tombstone continues chasing Peter with his one piece pipes while Peter attempts a web attack. This idea didn't go well for Peter as the homie received a two piece combo special in mid air. Tombstone picks up his hall of fame pipes again. These pipes were normal, but the way this man has been using the pipes in the throwdown, they might as well be raised to hall of fame level status. Peter looks back like damn, this nigga is crazy as Tombstone launched at him with the same evil intent as a crazed lunatic. Peter blocks the attacks and gives Tombstone a Sanji kick to the face. The next sequence was even crazier as Tombstone proceeded to mix Spider-Man with his double pipes like he's a prime Arkham Nightwing player. Doc Ock looks up and is like damn, y'all two are still going at it? Homie is just mad he got turned into another guy Gardner. Tombstone walks over and pins Spider-Man so he can finish him off with a super move. Spidey realizing there are only 30 seconds left out of the half game uses his web to trip Tombstone, Tombstone gets up and eats an RVD roundhouse kick to the face causing him to stumble into the wall. Tombstone looks back, pissed at the fact his op isn't done yet, and look at Peter y'all, he got that determined fighter pose locked into the max, you just know the GOAT is coming out of this fight as the winner. Doc Ock looks on in amazement at his two opponents throwing hands, Peter gives Tombstone two more Liu Kang kicks to the face. Tombstone realizing he was getting cooked this time around, picks up a rock to use against Peter. Peter seeing it was the perfect time to use his finishing move, then shot at a larger pipe over Tombstone head causing the villain to collapse down to the ground like a defeated anime villain. Doc Ock realizing it was over fell back to the ground too. Yeah homie knows he's gonna be spending some quality time in jail again. Spider-Man getting his lick back on Tombstone in the store down was amazing but man this gotta be one of my favorite versions of the character out there besides the 90s and the Tobey Maguire trilogy. Also maybe the Andrew Garfield films as well and Tom Holland Spider-Man definitely has some cool moments too but truly amazing stuff. If y'all enjoyed the video consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. I also got an Instagram now y'all want to follow on there and as well as a TikTok too. So as always hope y'all continue a nice week and I'll catch y'all next time.